Well, hey guys, the Nordstrom anniversary sale is going on. They have a ton of deals on skincare, beauty, and in today's video, I'm gonna go through a lot of these beauty deals. I'm gonna tell you what I think is worth it and what I think is being overhyped and you should just pass on. Now, YouTube has this new shop feature. It's a little shopping bag. If you tap on that, anything that I'm talking about in this video that I actually think is worth it will be in that little bag. They bundled Glow Screen SPF 40 with Glow Stick SPF 50. $43. A couple of years ago, I tried out the Super Goop Glow Screen. It's an organic sunscreen and cake chemical. There's no white cast. It's tinted. It's not water resistant. It didn't burn around my eyes. The finish was okay, a little shiny, and the tint is very shimmery. So it kind of gives you that glittery, bronzed look, which is okay. You may really like that. Personally, for me, it just was not my favorite. Now, the sunscreen stick is also an organic sunscreen that is not water resistant. It doesn't leave a cast, but in my opinion, sunscreen sticks, they can be convenient for especially app applying around the eyes. They don't have any water. So because of that, they are less likely to seep in your eyes. However, sunscreen sticks are very prone to skip areas and under applications. If you love glow screen and you like the idea of having the stick on hand, then this is a pretty good deal. If you're like me and you have Chrome Kroger or one of the Kroger family of grocery stores, I highly suggest checking out the Kroger brand dupe of the glow screen. In my opinion, it feels just as nice. It's less shimmery. If you want to check out my review of the glow, of the glow screen dupe from Kroger, I'll link it in the description box. The other super goop bundle is their unseen sunscreen, which is super popular, is bundled with their play sunscreen. So let's talk about unseen. Unseen is actually a great sunscreen. It's um, water resistant, clear, colorless, it has this cushiony feel. It's not shiny. It's not greasy. It does really well in humidity. Great as a base under makeup. It's a, For a lot of people, it's their holy grail sunscreen. You get two tubes of it. One is 1.7 ounces and the other is one ounce. You also get the Super Goo Play sunscreen, which is not my favorite. Also an organic sunscreen, no cast, but it has some citrus oils in it, which in my opinion are not great additions to sunscreen because they can be irritating and it's not my preference. So that is not a sunscreen I would ever choose myself, but I do really like Unseen. So you get this bundle of three sunscreens, $52 versus $78. However, for me personally, while I love Unseen, Trader Joe's has a dupe for the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen that you need to try because it's like 14 bucks, I wanna say, very inexpensive. Now let's move on to Kula's SPF 30 spray. You can get a two pack, $32 versus 56. I have tried this sunscreen spray before and in the realm of sprays, this is actually pretty nice. It is a lightweight, fast absorbing, non-greasy organic sunscreen. There's no white cast to it. It does have some uh, fruit extracts in it, which may be hydrating, but if you're sensitive, those could cause problems for you. It is water resistant, which I like. Now, what you need to know about using sunscreen sprays is like the sticks, they are very prone to under application. And I never suggest anyone rely solely on sunscreen sprays. When you're using a sunscreen spray, you wanna spray it as close to possible to your skin on your body, do multiple passes, and then you actually physically need to rub it in. These should not be sprayed directly on your face. I think a lot a lot of people pursue them thinking that they are a great way to have a hands-free option for putting sunscreen on your face. But to use a spray properly on your face, you need to spray it into your hand and then actually rub it onto your face. You're not supposed to spray it directly to your face because of safety concerns with getting it on your mucous membranes or on your eyes, in your nose, or inadvertently inhaling it. And then again, you need to rub it in. This is a pretty good sunscreen spray. It is very fast absorbing, non-greasy. It does have alcohol in it, which a lot of people are nervous about. That's what makes it fast absorbing and non-greasy. If you have a very dry skin type, you may not care for that. Necessaire Hand Cream Duo. This, in my opinion, is a good deal. $28 versus $40. Now, I've used the Necessaire Hand Cream for several years now. I really, really like it. Honestly, though, I recently stopped using it because it is expensive, and I have found alternatives from the drugstore that are just as good, much less expensive. Specifically, I've been using the Gold Bond Eczema Hand Cream so I've, I've mostly been using the eczema 
hand cream from Gold Bond, but I will give a shout out to this Necessaire hand cream. It is very good. It has niacinamide, which is really good for the moisture barrier. It's an antioxidant, so it can help mitigate the damaging effects of environmental exposures, and your hands are some of the most exposed territory on your body. Niacinamide is also good for hyperpigmentation, so it can be helpful for those age spots that can appear on the backs of the hands. This hand cream also has marula oil in it, an emollient that can soften and smooth rough skin, and also may have some antioxidants that likewise can help with oxidative stress. It has a peptide in it that's very hydrating. This hand cream is fragrance free. It comes in a nice metal tube. In my opinion, this is a great gift to give someone. All right, now this is a product I wanna chime in on even though I've never personally used it because I do get a lot of questions on what do you think of this? Oh my gosh, it's the Augustinus Bader The Rich Cream. So if this is your jam, right now in Nordstrom you can get a one ounce pump and a half ounce pump. For for the low, low price of $200. Yikes, versus $272. Like I said, I've never used this before. Objectively speaking, there's nothing wrong with the ingredients. I do imagine that people who use this and love it, imagine that they appreciate an improvement in moisture content in their skin, skin luminosity, radiance. Do I think that you need this cream versus any other moisturizer to get those types of results? No, this is not something I would ever buy myself. And it also has a peptide in it, palmitoyl tripeptide 8. Now, I mentioned this in videos before, but peptides, they probably just mostly act as humectants. Uh, we rely on the manufacturer studies, uh, which are obviously going to be biased. It's not like they're they're testing these peptides in double, rigorous double-blind placebo-controlled trials or anything, but this particular peptide, at least in cells in a dish type models, show a reduction in inflammatory markers after UV radiation. In skin explants, so a, a model, not on an actual human, this peptide has been shown to be associated with a decrease in dilated capillaries. And when used on actual humans who have the skin condition rosacea, this particular peptide is associated with a decrease in persistent facial redness. However, that particular study on the patients with rosacea was using a product that not only had this peptide, but also had caffeine in it. And caffeine can likewise help in minimizing redness. So whether or not it was a peptide or something else to this cream, like the caffeine, hard to say for sure. Anyway, the Augustinus Batter Cream, Vader Cream has that peptide along with shea butter, primrose oil, avocado oil. These are nice emollients with antioxidants. Like I said, objectively, there's nothing wrong with this product, except my my gosh, the price point, hello. I could never pay that much. Even $200, the discount of $200 is not enough for me to add this to my cart. <laughs> Moving on, I was gifted the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. And I shared this with you guys in a vlog a while ago. What the heck is it? It is basically like a very hydrating serum. It has Bifida ferment extract and it has yeast extract. These are enriched with humectants, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory compounds. So they can help hydrate the skin and have a skin smoothing and skin plumping effect. Objectively speaking, I have tried this out myself and I do note an improvement in skin hydration, luminosity, glow. To what extent the extracts in this are any more valuable than any other humectant rich type toner out there, you're never gonna get side-to-side -side studies. Now this product also has adenosine in it, which is anti-inflammatory. It does have alcohol in it, which again, some people find drying, but in my experience using this, that was not the case. It does have fragrance, which I don't recommend. It's not my preference to have fragrance in skincare. It can be irritating. People can become sensitized to it and allergic. The fragrance in this particular product reminds me of the scents that come in like those moist towelettes for your hands. Um, just a light citrus scent. It doesn't linger. It's not headache inducing for me. And I'm I'm bothered by fragrance and skincare typically, and this was tolerable for me. $155 versus $255. That's actually a pretty substantial chunk they have taken off of the price of this. So if you're someone who loves this, this is a time to snag it. Am I recommending it? No. Um, in my opinion, I while I saw results with this, I, I found it very effective at hydrating the skin. Honestly, guys, I get similar outcomes with a lot of the Korean hydrating toners that I've used and reviewed on this channel, including the like, CauseRx Snail Mucin. Like, honestly, I feel like Snail Mucin 
gets gets me to what this does. Sawasu First Care Activating Serum. This was gifted to me as well, and I have tried it out. Is it worth your money? How much does it cost? Uh, you can get two bottles of this in the sale for $137 versus $178. So why would you wanna put this on your face? Well, it's a hydrating serum. It has compounds from Centella, which are anti-inflammatory, helpful for healing and barrier recovery. It also has honey, a humectant. It has a variety of hydrating root extracts. In contrast to the Lancome Genifique, I saw no difference with this. I find it very watery. Fragrance in this is quite strong. In my opinion, it's a bit leaning to headache inducing. Again, I don't recommend products with fragrance. I say this is a skip. There are so many fantastic Korean hydrating toners, serums out there. There are great Japanese hydrating toners and serums out there for a fraction of the price of this with the out the awful fragrance that in my experience deliver much better results. This was very underwhelming in my experience using it. Personally, I don't think you should buy it, even though that's a, a pretty substantial knockoff on the price. Okay, this is a product that I've recently tried out um, because I have always ragged on it in stores. It's the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Now, right now for the Nordstrom sale, you can get Radiance Duo Set, a 1.7 ounce bottle of the Good Jeans and a half an ounce of the CEO, and I'll talk about CEO in a moment. So what the heck is Good Genes? It's basically a lactic acid treatment, and honestly, it is pretty good. So lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. It helps gently exfoliate the skin as well as hydrate the skin. It's, it's mild and it's gentle enough to help lighten sunspots, age spots. It's a great ingredient if you have the rough and bumpy skin condition, keratosis pilaris, compound from licorice root, which can be anti-inflammatory, helpful for redness, helpful for irritation. A lot of people who have keratosis pilaris, it's on a background of redness. It's called KP rubra. So the licorice root may help in that regard. The product also has lemongrass extract, which has astringent properties. So that may help if you're someone who has oily skin, although it may cross react if you are allergic to fragrance. Objectively speaking, I have used this and I do find that it does have a nice skin softening and hydrating effect. In my experience, the Ordinary's Lactic Acid Serum is just as good a fraction of the price, no lemongrass. Um, so I would recommend that over this, but objectively speaking, using it, trying it out, it works, it's not bad. The CEO that you get with this combo is in a vitamin C serum. And it has a type of vitamin C that is more stable than ascorbic acid. More stable, easier to get in the skin, however, less evidence-based for things like improving collagen production. So if you really want the benefits of topical vitamin C, THD may be easier to tolerate, may be more reliable of an ingredient for formulators to work with, but for you, the consumer, you may not be getting the full package of benefits. But you may be getting just enough benefits to meet your needs. For example, THD as an antioxidant, it may be helpful in uh, fading hyperpigmentation. It may be helpful in combating against oxidative stress from environmental exposures. This also has glycolic acid in it, which is a alpha hydroxy acid that can smooth and soften the skin. Now, both lactic acid in the good genes and glycolic acid in the CEO, you do wanna be careful that you are protecting your skin from the sun, which you should be doing anyway. When you are using alpha hydroxy acids, they can make your skin more sensitive to a sunburn. So you do wanna be really careful in that regard. $114 versus $165. Let's move along to some devices. Let's talk about the new face. Let's revisit new face. So if you um, missed my video, was it a year ago, I reviewed the New Face. What is New Face? New Face is a microcurrent device that can help temporarily lift a bit uh, sagging skin. It's not going to change your skin structure. It's not the most evidence-based technology. However, I think there are better devices out there that are more evidence-based. Now, yours truly used this for a good long while, gave it a good try. I saw a subtle plumping effect that was very short lived. I didn't get much in the realm of tightening. Now, when you use this, it does kind of give a tingly sensation, especially around the forehead, almost kind of like a, like an electric shock sensation. It's not unbearable, but if you're sensitive, you may not care for that. To me, this is overhyped, but I do think a lot of people find it beneficial for skin tightening. They do see a sustained improvement throughout the day. It depends on overall the amount of laxity that you have. 
do know that this is unlikely, unless you're using the one with the red light, it's, it's unlikely that it's actually changing much of your collagen. It really mostly works by stimulating the underlying muscles. It's only going to work if you use it. And I found this, of all the devices I have tried, to be one of the most laborious, and I did not stick with it. Now, I mentioned red light is beneficial for improving collagen, and that can have a wrinkle smoothing effect. I recently did a video, as a side note, about red light masks. I've used them and seen results. They can work. Um, and they are helpful. There's also blue light therapy, which is helpful for targeting the acne-causing bacteria, Cutibacterium acnes. It can really be helpful for people who have acne in reducing the number of breakouts. So for the Nordstrom sale, one of my favorite LED devices, the Light Stem, is on sale. They have the Acne LED Light Stem, which has blue light in it. That's $114 down from $169. And that device I really like because it's easy to use and hard to reach. Easy to use in hard to reach places, your back, it's easy to use for areas on the chest. But if you have acne all over the face, you may instead want to get an acne LED face mask with blue light. Then they also have one aimed for wrinkles that is red light, $167 down from $249. So if you're looking for improvement of wrinkles, you may want to go with that. The Dr. Dennis Gross Spectralite Facewear Pro Collagen Boosting Essentials Kit. So you get Dr. Dennis Gross's Spectralite Facewear Pro. Plus you get some of his skincare. You get the Dewy Deep Cream. This is a scented moisturizer with a form of vitamin C, 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. Again, that's a more stable form of vitamin C, but less research backed. This particular cream also has niacinamide in it. It has collagen, it has peptides. It has um, dipotassium glycerizate, which comes from licorice root, so anti-inflammatory, but it's also got fragrance, which again, not my preference, can cause problems. You also get the triple correction eye serum, half an ounce. This has retinol in it, which can help improve fine lines around the eyes, as well as bakuchiol, an antioxidant that may also help with stabilizing retinol. It has ubiquinone, one of my favorite antioxidants. Ubiquinone, otherwise known as Q10, helps fight off oxidative stress. It has compounds from centella, which are anti-inflammatory. It has mandelic acid, a very gentle alpha hydroxy acid, and it has caffeine, which can have a brightening effect and be helpful for hyperpigmentation. You get a half an ounce of that, and you get his infamous alpha beta, the extra strength daily peel pads. You get five treatments that you do daily. And this particular one, the first step is a, a pad that's a combination of salicylic acid, glycolic acid, mandelic acid, and lactic acid. Now this first pad does have fragrance in it, but these hydroxy acids are gonna help with exfoliating the skin, smoothing out the skin surface, and they're also going to be helpful for lightening hyperpigmentation, although the fragrance could be irritating, so be aware of that. And then the second step is actually a pad that has retinol in it, which can help with wrinkles, resveratrol, an antioxidant, Q10 and soy isoflavones. So Q10 is an antioxidant and the soy isoflavones, also antioxidants that can be helpful for redness and hyperpigmentation. And you get the, the face mask. So the face mask has both red and blue light. So it's got 60 blue LEDs and it has 100 red LEDs. And the nice thing about this is you can do it with both red and blue. You can do it with just red or you can do it with just blue. So if you have acne and you're looking to really capitalize on the blue light, you could just do the blue or if you want wrinkle improvement, you could just do the red or you could do both. Um, and it's three minutes a day. All right, it's ordinarily $455 for just the mask. But in the sale, you get the mask and you get all those other skincare products we just talked about. Three minutes a day. Now, I, like I said, LED therapy can be very effective. Only as effective as you are willing to do it. If you'll recall back from my video on my experience trying out red light LED masks, I've been using the Omnilux Contour myself and I definitely see results with that device. That device is $395. I've not personally used the Dr. Dennis Gross one. The Omnilux Omnilux one that I use is just red light. It doesn't have blue light. Omnilux makes a blue light device for people with acne, um, but the Omnilux one is, is the one that I have used and saw results from. Um, okay, NARS Orgasm Blush. This is my favorite blush in the whole wide world and the one that I'm currently wearing right now but it's also the only blush I have ever worn. <laughs> so there's that. I got this in my FabFitFun box, which I buy myself. It was not gifted to me. Prior to starting on YouTube, however, long, long ago, I also have 
had purchased this and used it in the past. It's a really good blush. Uh, very complimentary for a variety of different skin tones. Lasts, looks great looks great across multiple seasons. Just a very bright and nice color. Right now you can get two compacts of the blush for $40, ordinarily 64. So I will definitely be buying that because I really like it. Y'all know I love, love, love my Aquas microfiber hair towels. The reason I love them so much is that they rapidly remove the majority of the water out of my hair. This is gonna cut down on damage. And they're also very lightweight. They don't put a lot of friction on the hair that could lead to frizz, breakage. and in the sale, you can get two for $68 versus $100. So that's a pretty good savings right there. Highly recommend them. I definitely will be buying them because I, I like to have multiple ones on hand. They're great. All right, guys. So that's everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. We covered quite a few products. Hopefully you learned some things about these. Maybe this helps you in not making some purchases or choosing other things. Uh, let me know in the comments, though, if you shop the sale. I hope this video was helpful to you. On the end slate, I'm going to put a recent video all about how to hydrate your skin. So check that out next. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.